the time after chapel and before lights out is I feel like that's always been a good opportunity and a good time for me to get to know the students more one-on-one. -on -one. So they'll come hang out at the camp store. You can eat way too much candy and drink too much soda. Good opportunity for me to know, get to know them outside of our work site. You know, we had a lot of cool moments where I would get to connect with a lot of different girls on like certain topics or just kind of having those deeper moments that you didn't get to have on the work site. They're open for the most spiritual conversation and open for the most impact, I think, during that time because they've heard talk, they've just done worship, they've had small group time with their youth group, and they're coming out and spiritual things are on their mind. And so um, it's an important time to be able to talk to those kids. Get to know them, hear about their life, talk about the day with them, reflect on chapel with them. That's always fun as well. You can play games. Whether that's playing Foursquare. 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 Four Jenga. Volleyball. Ultimate Frisbee. Frisbee. A lot of dodgeball. Huge game of hide and seek. Play cards. Card games. Sardines. Silent football. Silent football. Whatever else funny game you're playing. It's fun. And it's really cool to hang out with them in a more casual setting and to see what they really like. And we have a chance to not only hang out and goof off and be a friend to some kids that maybe don't have a lot of friends, but a chance to impact all of those people for Jesus. It makes it a lot of fun, a lot of laughter. And it's just so much fun. You don't have to be doing anything except loving people. Like, best job ever, right? It, it's just a fun opportunity to be able to do life with your staff and with the students and just be goofy and have fun. Look until the sun is a new day's rise.